Okay, my good friends, this is kind of exciting. This is Roger Mudfossil University, and I have been working with my good friend Andy Marino, who is a um, bacteriolo bacteriologist, PhD, runs a whole, he's got like 19 labs they run that test the food coming into our country for being, you know, edible. <laughs> now, this is, um, we contacted this company who um, just amazingly, this is just amazing. We contacted them about, they're doing microbiome studies of what bacteria live in what areas of the body and so forth. So anyway, they contacted me back. Carl Morgan manages the office and runs the European operations. Now, it says, are you planning a microbiome study and looking for a cap accredited partner? That's what we want to do, is do a study. Listen to this. They're over in Ireland. My good friend, Marguerite O'Reilly, who has been working with me for a few years now on the microbiome is right over there and they are looking for partner development and so forth now they, they you know almost every time you talk to anybody that's going to do something there's some money involved <laughs> I don't know how that's going to happen but it says contact us here or request a quote using this form now what are what do we need we need to get some some information related to how the microbiome in the body is literally organized. What different types of bacteria exist in different membranes? Because I don't know if they fully understand the membrane association, the interstitial association, the what's called membrane-bound bacteria. They live in these little fluid-filled pockets. In all, every membrane has them, every single one. And it, the membrane is a barrier. It is a barrier between you and invasion. Capiche? You don't have that barrier intact. You're invadable. You're going you're to get hurt. You're going to get damaged. You're going to be sick. You're going to be... Every time you do something that's not exactly right, you're going to have the chemistry in you that's going to affect that place where the bacteria is not there to create slime or to create what they call serosa, which is a chemical that goes out to attack invaders. They're not going to be able to create little enzymes and catalysts because that's what bacteria do. They create enzymes and catalysts. Your body doesn't do that. Your body has nothing to do with that. The enzymes direct all of those molecules to assemble into catalysts and enzymes which do things that would take a hundred years and they do it in a second or two absolutely phenomenal but that is all engineered and built by bacteria that's not your body that's not your body doing that so if you don't have the bacteria you're in trouble and that's what these guys do they now do they know where the bacteria lives in the body i don't think so but we need to know that because kids that have autism her son had absolute the worst type of autism you can have and now he's doing pretty damn good he's functioning just pretty much like a normal person before he could he never talked he's stimming and humming and what that is is an invasion of the membranes the myelin membranes that surround the nervous conductors in your body because when you get an impulse to your hand it, it, there's got to be a nervous impulse uh, uh, some kind of a signal coming down through a little tiny fiber that gets to do that well and you, uh, what happened why are you doing this instead of going like that When I see that in a, in a, I used to work on business machines. When I saw that thing, something was shorted out. <laughs> it was simple as that. You know, almost always. You know, this goes way back when, when things did get shorted out and they didn't explode. They just sort of went crazy. But that's what I see. And I, I'm telling you right now. Every single membrane in your body has a different type of bacteria. And when I say every membrane, I say tendons, a certain type of tendon has this exact type of, of, of bacteria lives there. Because it has to protect that type of chemistry. Bacteria only make one single chemical. And that's what they do. Well, um, yeah, bacteria, they make one single chemical. And they make just one chemistry set. And if you don't have that particular bacteria to make that particular chemistry set and you need that, you've got a problem. So this is very, very 
exciting. Because if Marguerite can get a hold of them and talk to them, because she's got a program and it's, it's helped many, many people. She's right there in Ireland. All right, the reason I did this video today is because I never ask for many people for any money. I don't want any money, but this is probably going to cost some, something. I'm, well, obviously, it's going to cost something. How, how it's going to get paid for, if it's going to get done, I have no idea. But I'm telling you right now, your microbiome is the key to your health, and these people are on the right track, and if we can get the right feedback and understand where these bacteria live in what environments, because the environment of your lymph nodes is going to be the same pretty much throughout your entire body. That's why you get lymph node cancer. That's why you get bre breast cancer. It's either breast or both breasts. That's why they remove them both, because they have the same microbiome layering tissues and bacteria. That's why. Once the bacteria is gone, you're invadable. Once you're invadable, that tissue, that, that membrane no longer is, is working for you. So if you can't infuse it back with the correct bacteria, you no longer have a bacteria barrier. And that barrier is what protects you. So these are the people we need to, to somebody needs to work with them and get this map done. And then maybe we can get people healthy again and focus in on what bacteria is that we do need. And it might be just as simple as that. Yeah, hey, take a couple of these bugs, have a nice day. You're healed. Vios con Dios.